Hey guys, Chris here. Today I have the Kelty Red Wing 50. This makes a great travel bag and it also makes a great bag for backcountry hiking. We're gonna take a look at that next. We got the Kelty Red Wing 50 here. Look at this thing. I unloaded it, but this is a great travel bag. People like this for traveling, and it, uh, look at there's a handle right there. <laughs> look at that. Start off with a handle there. You have a handle here, and then obviously you have the shoulder straps. You can hold on to that. Uh, one of the really great features of this pack, I'm just going to get right to it here, is you remove these compression straps right there, boop, and unzip the top. See how that's like a top load right there? That's your top load. I don't know if you can see that. There's your top load, but you remove these straps. This unzips all the way down there like that so the whole thing look at that that whole thing opens up and you can get a lot of clothes in here a lot of your gear your main gear your tent can go in here and look at that that thing just opens right up so you're not digging from the top straight to the bottom to find something that's a that's a complaint people have with a lot of top loading backpacks you got to either come in from the bottom or straight from the top but this goes it's like almost like a suitcase. That's why it's great for travel. This also works great as a carry-on and it does have a support bar. Check this out. Open that up. See that support bar here? This can be removed. The support bar can be removed so it can fit in overhead compartments if it's not fitting. So there's a Velcro tab there this comes out there's your support beam <laughs> and then now it's got a little more flexibility to fit into a tighter space I would recommend keeping this in for backpacking and just your, for longer hikes um, you just want that extra support The Kelty Red Wing comes in a 30, 32, 40, 44, and a 50 liter pack. It weighs four pounds, one ounce. It has a distance, from here to here, the length is about 26 inches, 17 inches wide, and it's about 12 inches deep when it's loaded out like that. I did pay a 149, I've seen them as low as 139, on Amazon check the internet see what you can find and inside the main compartment here which is quite big this is really good space here it does have a couple of grommet holes at the bottom so if, it, if you do get some water in there it's gonna at least drain out of the main compartment but this is where you have a laptop sleeve right here look at that and that's just as a nice velcro that can go anywhere on here also, this is where you would put your hydration. So it's either it's one or the other. It's hydration or laptop. Inside of here, below where this bar is, you have this panel support. And this actually comes out. It takes a little bit of work. But this panel, this can come out too and give you a little more flexibility. But this and that bar give you the support for this backpack. And uh, this is really lightweight, and it just fits in this separate little sleeve right here. So, see that slides in, and this goes over the top, and then you just Velcro that. The Red Wing also has a removable belt. There's a compression strap here, see that, on the... Uh, the hip belt 
and then we just remove this just slide this backwards like that pull that through now that's loose and do the same to the other side here pull that out and now this belt completely comes out like that <laughs> look at that that is gone so now you have you can remove the belt the rebar the support bar and the support panel if you would like and that can lighten your load and make it a little more flexible in, in an airplane or wherever you're traveling to at the very top here we have a zipper opening, single zipper, and we got a medium sized compartment right at the very, very top there. Around the back here, we have a main compartment off the back. This is really nice. This is where you're going to put your maps, your flashlights, cell phones, very important things. Important things go over here. We got a key fob, key holder. Not a key fob, but a key holder. And a little zippered mesh compartment right there. I guess that could be for coins or credit cards, things like that. Some pockets. There is a, check this out. There's a Velcroed pocket right here. This is where you'd put some, some glasses, some sunglasses. And you can see it's a softer um, fabric in there. For your, I would say glasses or even a small phone could go in there. That's a really good size compartment. It goes all the way down to all it goes all the way down to here. Ugh, settle down. <laughs> and uh, on the uh, outside of that we have some daisy chain holders. We got the handle there and these these uh, ice axe loops that could you could hang a variety of things on those. On the sides here, we have two really large water bottle holders. And check this out. Here's a 32 ounce bottle. And that fits really nicely right in there. Look at that. One big zipper to the top. Got one on each side here. Behind that, check this out. Behind this, we have Look at here's my fishing rod, but you could put tent poles, maybe even your tent back here. Well, not your tent, but your tent poles, and that goes into this pocket right down here with a compression strap on it. So this is your make sure it's not going to fall out or anything. And then the, and uh, there you go. Let's see. Then it's got a little compression strap on that, and then there's also the compression strap at the top here so look at that that fly rod is not going anywhere you could put a tripod in there if you have like the, the two legs hanging out one side or maybe even two legs in here one outside however you could configure that but that's a really nice feature to have so you're not having to strap that the horizontally on your pack here It does have at the bottom some daisy chain loops, a couple of straps here, and look at that. You can see they, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different places you could hang extra things on there as well. So all in all, really good travel pack and a lot of great features, very comfortable. Read the reviews online and uh, make your own decision about it, but it, I found it to be very comfortable and really nice uh, pack for traveling and taking with you on those different trips but a good good kind of multi-purpose backpack and uh, I've uh, really liked it so far so thanks for watching I better get going here I hear the thunder clouds moving in it was nice and sunny when I started out now it's uh, clouded over I got a tarp set up in case it started raining but it hadn't rained yet so all right it's been fun thanks for watching we'll see you next time keep hiking Hey, I wanted to thank Sportsman's Warehouse of Reno, Nevada for providing the uh, Kelty Red Wing. Much appreciated. Thank you, Sportsman's.